If you have ever seen an ancient building that stands tall in the middle of a thriving city, the awe that such structures inspire is not an alien feeling. For millennia, humans have challenged the technology of the time and achieved remarkable feats of architecture, engineering, and craftsmanship by building grand monuments, temples, and tombs. Today, these structures are classified as man-made wonders since it was nothing short of miraculous that such grand structures were built using the most primitive technology. Keep on watching to see our list of the top 10 man-made wonders of the world. Number one, Pyramids of Giza. Probably the most well-known ancient site in the entire world is the Giza Necropolis, which lies close to the southwest suburbs of Cairo. The Giza pyramids were designed to last forever, and they have. The massive tombstones, which date back to the old kingdom of Egypt, were built some 4,500 years ago. The Giza pyramids were constructed by Khufu, his second ruling son Khafur, and Menkara over the course of three generations. The pharaohs of Egypt believed that they would live forever as gods. They built temples for the gods and enormous pyramid tombs for themselves as preparations for the afterlife, each containing everything a monarch would require to govern and survive in the afterlife. The earliest and only remaining example of one of the seven wonders of the ancient world is the Great Pyramid of Khufu. The pyramid was built out of around 2 million stone blocks over the course of 20 years, with the project coming to an end around 2560 BC. The impressive Khafre Pyramid, which is close by and appears to be greater since it was constructed at higher height, is the biggest pyramid in Egypt at 139 meters high. Number 2. Great Wall of China The Chinese emperors spent years constructing the Great Wall of China to fortify their northern frontiers against incursions by the Zhongnu tribes. Today, it encircles China's ancient northern border for thousands of kilometers. Chinese authorities have launched wall-building initiatives for millennia to defend the country from northern, nomadic invaders. In Shandong province, a part of one such ancient wall that is still standing is built of the hard-packed dirt known as rammed earth, and it is said to be 2,500 years old. Such walls protected the boundaries for many years throughout the Warring States period before China was united into one country. China was unified by Qin Shi Huang, often known as the First Emperor, in 220 BCE. He oversaw the integration of the existing barriers into a single structure. The wall was constructed primarily of wood and rammed dirt at the period. Emperor after emperor built on and fortified the wall, frequently in an effort to stave off northern invaders. The wall was made of brick in certain areas, granite or even marble blocks from quarries were employed in other places. As construction methods improved, the wall was continually updated. Number 3. Machu Picchu It would be impossible to visit Peru and not travel to Machu Picchu, much as how it would be impossible to visit Paris and not see the Eiffel Tower. As the most popular tourist destination in this region of South America, the majority of people do not disregard the significant pre-Columbian monument. Why then is Machu Picchu so incredibly unique? For one thing, it's the most preserved remains of the once mighty Inca Empire. The location, which is at a height of 2430 meters on Machu Picchu Mountain, is breathtakingly and menacingly gorgeous. The palace, which was constructed by Emperor Pachacuti in approximately 1450, was abandoned a century later. Fortunately, the site evaded the Spanish conquistadors' pillage and devastation, who obliterated anything Inca they could lay their hands on. The location developed an excessive amount of vegetation over the years. Few people outside the immediate vicinity were even aware it existed. The Inca's lost metropolis was undiscovered until 1911. In search of Inca ruins, American historian and explorer Hiram Bingham visited the area at that time while traveling home from a conference in Chile. Number 4. Petra Petra, the fabled rose-red city half as old as time, was the ancient capital of the Nabataean Kingdom. Without a question, it is both Jordan's most precious treasure and a top tourist destination. The Nabataean Empire, a wealthy ancient Arab monarchy that controlled the Spice Road, the principal caravan trade route that transported spices, incense, and textiles from Arabia, Africa, and India to the west, had its capital at Petra. Petra's sculpted rock faces served as a reminder of the civilization's opulence and affluence, which have persisted to the present day. 
A large, distinctive city that the Nabataeans dug into the side of the Wadi Musa Canyon centuries ago and made into a crucial intersection for the spice and silk routes connecting China, India, and southern Arabia with Egypt, Greece, and Rome. Al Kesna, a structure cut out of a sandstone rock face and dwarfing everything around it, is the most ornate structure in Petra. Number 5. Teotihuacan when Teotihuacan was at its peak with up to 150,000 inhabitants, it was one of the world's most populous cities between the 1st and 5th centuries. The city is now in ruins, making it one of Mexico's most important archaeological sites. It is also the busiest. The numerous religious monuments and buildings unearthed here are evidence that Teotihuacan was a significant religious center. Some of the same deities are revered by their inhabitants as by other Mesoamerican societies. Since they discovered both human and animal bones in tombs, they performed human sacrifices. It is said that as construction projects were extended, sacrifices were made. Looking back on the Teotihuacans now, they seem mysterious. Since there are no defensive structures in the city, it was assumed that they are a peaceful farming community. However, there are several emblems of battle throughout their temples. In the 7th or 9th centuries, the city was abandoned for reasons that are not entirely clear. Archaeologists think that overcrowding and the loss of natural resources were likely to blame for the fall. Number 6. Angkor The beautiful ruins of multiple Khmer Empire capitals may be seen at Angkor, which is located in Cambodia between the Tonal Sap Lake and the Kulen Mountains. The Khmer Empire, which thrived from around the 9th through the 15th century, had its capital at Angkor. The huge political, religious, and social hub of the ancient empire's religious system is only partially preserved in the hundreds of temples that still stand today. The metropolis had a million residents at its peak, making it the biggest pre-industrial city in the world. These include the well-known Bayonne Temple with its many enormous stone faces and the Angkor Wat Temple the biggest single religious structure in the world. Angkor saw several religious transitions during its lengthy history, switching multiple times from Hinduism to Buddhism. The Angkor temples were abandoned once the Khmer Empire fell, and the forest took control of them for many years. It now serves as the main draw for tourists to Cambodia and serves as the country's national emblem. Number 7. Colosseum the largest and most well-known amphitheater ever constructed in the Roman Empire is the Colosseum. Emperor Vespasian of the Flavian dynasty began work on it in 72 AD and his son Titus completed it in 80 AD. A hundred days of performances were staged at the Colosseum's inaugural festivities, during which 2,000 gladiators and 5,000 animals were sacrificed. There were no less than 80 entrances to the Colosseum which could accommodate up to 50,000 people. The valerium, or sails, that encircled the top of the attic shielded spectators from the rain and the sun's heat. It has grown to be a well-known tourist destination in Rome and a recognized emblem of Imperial Rome. Number 8. Taj Mahal The Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan had the enormous white marble monument known as the Taj Mahal constructed between 1632 and 1653 in honor of his beloved wife. The Taj is a masterpiece of Mughal structure, one of the most magnificent and well-preserved tombs in the world, and a significant item of global heritage. The monument, which is referred to as a teardrop on the cheek of eternity, is actually an integrated complex of buildings that includes, in addition to the white-domed marble mausoleum, a number of other stunning structures, reflecting pools, and extensive ornamental gardens with flowering trees and bushes. Number 9. Easter Island One of the world's most remote islands, Easter Island, is home to the iconic Moai, which are monolithic monuments. Most of the sculptures were carved by the island's Polynesian invaders between 1250 and 1500 AD. The Moai were revered as strong living people or previous leaders in addition to symbolizing departed ancestors. The Paro Moai, the biggest one ever built, was about 10 meters tall and weighed 75 tons. 
When Europeans first arrived on the island, the sculptures were still intact, but later disputes between clans would cause the majority of them to be destroyed. About 50 moai have been rebuilt today, either on Easter Island or in other museums. Number 10. Parthenon A trip to Athens would not be complete without visiting the Parthenon, one of the most well-known structures in the whole world which is perched atop the Acropolis. In order to replace an earlier temple that had been demolished by the Persians, work on the Parthenon began in 447 BC and was finished in 432 BC. The Athena Parthenos statue, constructed of ivory, silver, and gold, served as the centerpiece of the Parthenon. One of the Roman emperors stole the statue somewhere in the 5th century, transporting it to Constantinople, where it was eventually destroyed. The Parthenon has been a fortress, a church, a mosque, and a powder magazine during the course of its lengthy history. There are many great man-made wonders of the world that you need to see before actually believing that they exist. Which of these man-made wonders made you wonder if they were actually made by humans? Also, check out this other video if you want to visit Argentina. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of our top 10 prime picks.